And here we go. Welcome to day number two covering the beautiful Northwest. It is the ultimate RV Expo and what a majestic view that we have today. If you take a look behind us, guys, you can actually see more of the mountain and a little bit of the beautiful sunshine. Uh, that doesn't really make up for the chilly temperatures, <laughs> but listen, the okay. deals okay. are hot and we've got a lot to get into, don't we? We sure do. I am Trish Sir, along with America's favorite Sean Park, <laughs> Tiffany Remington, and of course Ian Baker. We are driving you home. See how we did that? I did. I, I like that. Oh, that was I really like good. It. Thank <laughs> you. With over 45,000 units available for you to take home today. No order forms. No, no. You get an actual RV. Just go. If you're not going to be in a camping world, you can go to 866-853-3510 to get all the information you need to get on the road. Hey, if you're going to brave the cold like us, there's 55 <laughs> locations just in the Northwest, 185 nationwide. You guys, sometimes you have to kind of come in, touch, see, That's and right. feel That's things. Right. And yeah, come join us. You're absolutely right. We have over 45,000 units on the lot. Yes, people amazing. to come in, take a look at. Chris and I are definitely going to walk you through some today, but you want to get in there, get your hands on it, see what this lifestyle is all about. And Ian, here's a cool thing. We're going to start with a variety of Keystone Cougars, and here's what you're going to get all weekend long. You go to Wisconsin, you go to Colorado, you go to anywhere in the Northwest. We're going to have food. We're going to have the best deals of all, and all weekend long, your ultimate offer, $2,500 dollars off your travel trailers, $5,000 off your fifth wheels and your motorhomes. This is a steal. That is absolutely correct. And we're going to start today off strong. My man, as you said, is going to be looking at the Cougars. And if you know anything about a Cougar, they are fierce, they are strong. And my friend Chris is going to show you that they, not only that, they are super well built. Here we go, my man Chris. Take it away, brother. Day two. You are talking about RVs, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Force of nature. That's what I think about when I think about a Keystone Cougar, variety of travel trailers and fifth wheels. Now, most are designed to be towed by a half ton truck, except for their premier line of fifth wheels, which we're going to start off here showing you first. But when you're talking about creativity, innovation, design, beauty, and of course that quality manufacturing that Keystone's known for, there's no wonder this has been one of the top selling brands of travel trailers and fifth wheels for over two decades now. And this 355 FBS, I'm going to start with right now, front bath, bath and a half that has a twist you're absolutely going to love, but also has the largest in-class panoramic windows and walk-in closet. Trust me, this is for the camping couple, but it's for the camping couple that knows somebody is going to be coming to stay with them and wants comfort, convenience, style, beauty everything that I mentioned just a minute ago. Let's start right out here on the side. Beautiful fiberglass with the graphics here. You'll see the sealed tinted safety windows all the way around. The pass-through storage right here with the magnetic anti-slam doors all the way around. Finished off with our inverted outlet outside as well as our key TV connection. I am such a huge fan of how Keystone makes their Cougars with that structural I-beam frame in here, the heated and enclosed underbelly. You got the Solera 12 volt awning right here with the LED light strip. <clears throat> the road armor hitch with that max turn technology and the hitch vision. Not only does this rubberized seal help absorb some of that chucking and bucking when going down the road, but fifth wheels are a little bit easier to tow because of the weight distribution being in the bed of the truck versus bumper to bumper, which is why fifth wheels have become so popular. And the way they've designed the Keystone Cougars, these are made to grow with you year after year. So many people, once they finally get a Cougar fifth wheel or travel trailer, that's what they stick with. They come back and they buy another one 5, 10, 15 years down the road, depending on if the family grows or if the family shrinks. But you'll see our storage box right there with the spare tire, the battery, and the battery disconnect, also known as the Giggy Box, which, <laughs> ah, the joke's pretty much right itself. But if you think about, let's say for example, since we're out here in the Northwest, like Colorado, there's over 9,600 miles of fishable streams just in Colorado. If you're a fisher person that likes to go out, fish, hunt, whatever, how long would it take you to cover 9,600 miles? You could do it in a Keystone Cougar, rated temperature zero to 100 degrees with that foam core insulation. Plus, we got the beautiful aluminum wheels with the Dexter Easy Lube axles, the road armor suspension right there, which has extra wide berth, but also absorbs that shock while going down the road. 
You got the true fit slides, which are sealed and enclosed all the way around. You got those barriers all the way around. And the true fit slide construction means there's going to be less components to move the slides out and in. Less components to move slides, less things that can break for you. You got your sewer hose connection, or excuse me, your sewer hose storage underneath, hitch on the back, set up for backup camera prep, plus ladder mounted on the top. Beautiful on the outside, but wait until you see what I got waiting for you on the inside. Got that five-sided aluminum superstructure. Lippert solid steps leading me up into, oh, my stars. Look at it. Absolutely beautiful, modern and rustic. I like how we got over here in the opposing slides. We got the kind of just beautiful bright white with the distressed features going around, not only in the slide, but also in the cabinetry. And then here along the back wall where we have the pullout sleeper sofa, the dark cabinetry, solid wood construction, shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlays and the brush nickel pulls with the hideaway hinges. Not only because this is a full profile fifth wheel, do you get the higher storage, you get more space, and it's just beautiful. You got the accents on the bottom, you got the solid wood valances going around with the decorative skirting on the sides. Plus, we got end tables on both sides with dual USB, 110, and cubby storage. And right over here in our entertainment center, I like this, the Ultra 4K HD TV, 50 inch TV on a swivel, and if you know anything about Keystone and how they do everything, their connections like the Key TV multi-source connection, what it does is it's a smart connection. You plug one thing into one port and the corresponding ports on the inside of the coach know what it is. So if it's cable and you accidentally put it in the satellite, it's going to work your TV. You don't have to worry about chasing cables. Just great innovations like their color-coded wiring that they have here. The thermoplastic tough lock joints that they have inside the ductwork inside their coaches. Just always thinking about innovation, always thinking about ways to make your camping life better. Storage shelf here, Furion AM FM Command Center with the CD player, plus you got that InnoFlame fireplace. Now, sure, it looks good. You got the backlighting, multi-flame settings, but it's roughly 4,800 BTUs of heat. Now, don't get me wrong. This 355 SBF, FBS already has a 35,000 BTU furnace in it and a 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach AC with the blade pure distribution system in it. Add that to the fact that we got that insulation going all the way around, temperature rated zero to 100 degrees. This right here on cool nights, or if you just wanna sit at the base of the mountains, open up the windows, let the cross breeze come in, kick out either here on the sofa or in the allure recliners with massage and heat, this little beauty right here is gonna put you to sleep and make you feel comfortable while you're sleeping. Now, right beside my allure, comfortable, plush, thick recliners, is my legless dinette. Another great feature that I like what Keystone did because you'll notice the pedestal is gone, mainly because their customers said, hey, we just were so used to seeing dream dinettes in luxury motorhomes, can you put it here? Legless dinette, dream dinette. You still get the sliding table that moves back and forth, but you get the, free, the four stairs freestanding, dimmer controls on your lights, some of the largest panoramic windows in class, and good six foot high clearance in the slides. Now since we have the opposing slides, we open up the living area and the kitchen area, giving us the solid surface island with the 50-50 sink underneath, the high rise faucet with the sprayer, good space right there for a trash can or whatever. And every Keystone Cougar also comes with the drying rack and the cutting board cover that's under there and four drawers for plenty of space. Solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. You got the prep space over here, once again, with that beautiful molded edge. It's almost like a beveled edge. Decorative, solid surface. I got my pop-up power stations on both sides. Now, this 355 FPS happens to come with the Keystone Solar Flex 400. You can opt for the 400. Most of them come standard with the 200. What that does is that allows you to run the lights, and more off of the power of the sun. Solar Flex is a great innovation that if you want to go boondocking, you want to go off the grid, you got the capability to do it. But you also have the capability of upgrading to 600 and 1200, which then you could actually run the AC off of the solar panels. 
That is true off the grid camping right there. And I like how we have the angled cabinetry here above my prep space in the kitchen. You got the solid wood doors, the hideaway hinges, the frosted glass inlay here, the high output microwave, which is also large. And Kev, they knew they were making this 355 FBS for me. How about a beverage station on the side of the island right here. You could, this is great for if you want to put the three liter bottles here or bottles of wine, maybe some blankets right there to throw on the sofa when you have company or if you just get chilly at night. Beautiful. Now speaking of chilly, this four door Dometic fridge freezer combo gives you plenty of space for those long weekend getaways. Not only that, but this is one of the gas electric fridges which has the automatic switch on it. 18 cubic feet of space has the decorative wood paneling just flows with what Keystone does with their quality manufacturing. Now, we also have the Dynaspan flooring on this one. Easy to clean, slip resistant, one piece, solid, and you'll notice inside the slide, no carpet. Now, Chris, this 355 FBS, this is cool. This has two pantries in it. Well, hold on, because there's a twist. You got the pantry right here, solid shells, deep and high, but, the 355 FBS is a bath and a half. Come on now. We're going to go up in the mountains of Utah and have us some fun. I got my Max Vent fan there. I got my rack right here, the porcelain high rise bowl, and the solid surface sink right here. Vanity, which is underlaid, mirrored medicine cabinet, plenty of storage. But the reason why this 355 FBS have, has a bath that's off of the kitchen is because the master suite, which we're gonna go see right now, right past our in-command panel, which generation three, every year they just get better. Great innovation, controls everything from your water pump, your water heater, your HVAC, the slides, the awning. But if you download the app, you can do the same thing from, from your cell phone. Great little feature, innovation. The 355 FBS has a master suite where the bathroom is before you get to the closet. So that's why we have that half bath down in the kitchen. Because if you're staying here and you got somebody there, they don't want to come through the, the bedroom and you don't want them to come through the bedroom just to get to the bathroom. So you got a king size bed here in its own slide. And you'll notice we got the cubby space over there where we have an inverted outlet plus a dual USB charging, which to me was a great design innovation by the engineers because before that was just open space. Now it's a storage cubby. You still got storage under the bed. You got dual USB charging right here in 110. You got another AC, the Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet right here with the Blade Pure. I say whisper quiet just because that's what we're used to. That's still the Coleman Mach, but the blade is actually more quiet than the whisper quiet. Plus we got the chest of drawers right here, large window, another inverted outlet, as well as my KeyTV multi-source connection. And last but not least, the coup de gracie of the 355 FBS, the master bath and walk-in closet. Now hang on Kev, I'm not gonna open the door yet, because look at that beautiful high-rise porcelain bowl. Look at that beautiful shower with the glass enclosure, the bench seat, the skylight, the large space right here for countertop, the undermounted sink like we have in the half bath, the large window, all the drawer space that I could ever want, and then largest in its class, closet space. 155 cubic inches of space in here. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Storage space up top, washer dryer prep if I need it, drawers, USB, hanging rack, all the way around. If you've been looking for that premium fifth wheel that you and your family can enjoy for years to come, this Keystone Cougar 355 FBS is one I need to, I think you definitely need to put it at the top of your list. But just wait, because we've got more Keystone Cougars coming up next. For me, adventure has always come first. You know, my time on the road and the work that I get to share inspires other people to get outside. Let's go find a campsite. I think up here on the left there's a good spot. Home sweet home. My name is Savannah Cummins and I'm an adventure photographer. 
I really like playing outside, going and getting dirty, and I think what I love most about being in an RV and spending time on the road is having some comfort. So, what's the plan for today? I think we'll go meet up with Josie and then hike up to American Beauty, which is this class. Yes. Right here. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And stay out till sunset and come back and have okay. a campfire afterwards. Cool. I think being on the road has helped my career a lot because I can be anywhere at any time with all my gear and all my equipment. Lander for me is really where I started to learn how to climb and shoot photos, so it's a really special place to me. I think both photography and being outside suit me really well. I have a pretty short attention span and get bored pretty easily. And so with photography, it's something different every day. In the male-dominated industry, just not many female photographers are recognized. I want to be known as just a great photographer, not a great female photographer. Photography is a challenge for myself, and I don't like to, you know, compare my work to others and compete with others. It's like something that I do for me. Nice job. I got it. Okay. Look at that two finger pocket. Oh, and she's in the sun. I know. There. She's that's like perfectly awesome. lit cool. right there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ouch. I've grown a lot from spending time outside and spending time on the road and sharing experiences with others. It's really pushed me out of my comfort zone. I stuck it! <laughs> I can't like believe it. it! Sharing my space in the RV with a friend just really makes you closer. And I hope to continue to spend a lot of time living on the road for the rest of my life, for the rest of you know the time that my body allows me to. It is a half-ton fifth wheel, which means it's towable by most half-ton pickup trucks. Now, I preface that with one thing. Always bring your vehicle to Camping World and let us check it out for you. It's free for us to inspect it. If you don't know how much you can tow, bring it in, let the experts tell you. But this beauty right here being 35 feet, 9 inches, roughly 9,500 pounds, the 32 BHS Keystone Cougar half-ton fifth wheel. Gorgeous. Same thing you're going to get across that Keystone Cougar line. Quality construction. Five-sided aluminum superstructure. Foam insulation. This one has the hyper deck on the inside. You still get that road armor fifth wheel hitch with that max turn technology. The hitch vision. The molded end cap. You got the radiant foil barriers. The astro foil barriers. Heated and enclosed underbelly. Storage box right up front. And of course, heated pass-through storage right here with the inverted outlet on the outside as well as our key tv multi-source connection outside because since this is a bunkhouse if you want to set up some outside entertainment why not have the capability to connect up and set up some outside entertainment you got the solid steps leading into the master right here extra large grab handle giving you some additional security coming into the coach plus it doubles as a door guard sealed safety tinted windows all the way around you'll notice we got the extra large awning right here with the light strip right above our marine grade speakers double axle on this beauty too. You got those Dexter Easy Lube axles right there. The road armor suspension giving us a little extra security and safety while going down the road. Plus the ground control 3.0 four touch leveling system on this beauty. Entry into the bathroom here. An external kitchen right here with light, storage space, a sink, now, I preface that, and I do it emphatically with my glasses off, because a lot of times on outside kitchens, you don't get the full outside sink. Sometimes you get the sprayer, sometimes you get a sprayer port or a shower around the side. Having something that, first off, with this one being 35 feet, so you're looking at that pretty sweet spot for state parks, and in states like Utah, where every county has a portion of or a national park inside of it, you can go pretty much wherever you want to go to enjoy seeing America the safest way possible. But having the sink is a great touch. Hot and cold, plus it is brushed nickel, storage shelf there, 110 GFCI outlet, and one of my favorites, we got it covered up because I think somebody's actually going to be taking this one home. You got the Capitol Grill external cooktop out here. What's great about this one is this whole entire space is a cooking area. Now it's not the griddle, which is my favorite, 
but you don't have two burners where you have to worry about putting a pot here or putting a pot there. You got radiant cooking space all over the diameter right there. Plus it folds down, goes in, that hooks right up to your LP, and you got the large dorm style fridge right there because what do I always say about the outdoor bourbon? My three finger pour, you gotta be able to keep it chilly while it's outside. Or maybe you went fishing. Good spot to store the fish right there. Ladder mounted on the back, set up for backup camera prep, plus we got the hitch back there. Absolutely beautiful for being under 9,500 pounds dry, 35 feet long and gorgeous. Just wait till you see what I got on the inside. So here we go. Come on in to your new vacation home a la the Keystone Cougar 32 BHS. I am such a fan of Keystone because of their quality manufacturing, how they make everything. That's no wonder why they're one of the top selling brands for two decades now. But when we walk in here right away, we see this angled kitchen here on the campsite, giving us good prep space, good storage space with a 50-50 stainless steel undermounted sink with a high rise faucet and sprayer, plus the flush mounted three burner cooktop right here with the grill style great high output burner on the front so if you want to do some high altitude cooking you're not going to lose any you know cooking prowess while doing so got the back lights on the controls and the 16 inch furion oven right there so if you want to bake some of that great salmon you're going to catch or you know steel heads blues or just do some shrinky dinks you got the spot to do it right there spot for your trash can uh, plus you got your cutting board and your drying rack right there too. We just took them off so we can show you the sink. And I like how they did the modern rustic appeal with this whitewashed cabinetry with the distressed inlays, shaker style, beveled edges with the brushed nickel pulls, hideaway hinges, good storage space, not only across but up and down, plus very deep. Got a little storage spot right there too, Kev. Look at it. Then you got the Dometic eight cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here, which is gas electric with the automatic switch. And if you got the height to do it, another strut supported storage compartment up there. For me, this is the grab and go spot. So if you got a Kavu, a water bag, or just your, you know, your backpack or your bug out bag, bam, there you go. Right above that, we got the Coleman Mock Whisper Quiet 15,000 BTU AC in this one. Now you also got a 35K BTU furnace and underneath this hyperdeck flooring, which is a polypropylene laminated uh, fiberglass floor, uh, which is easy to clean, water resistant, really helps with that temperature rating of zero to 100 degrees inside this coach, by the way. Um, you just do a really good job of keeping the temperature where you want it. When it's hot outside, uh, keep it cool when it's cold outside you can keep it warm all from the comfort of your cell phone too because since we have the in command system on this coach you can do that from your cell phone now right over here is also our fireplace roughly 4800 BTUs you'll see right there 4777 of heat multi flame setting multi light setting it is electric so if you're plugged into shore power that'll do a good job of knocking the chill off the air while you're inside this coach as well nice summit TV right here on the swivel more storage up top. I like how these doors are extra big, giving us more room. Shelves aren't really that deep, but they are high. And then you got some pantry storage, space storage, whatever. I mean, that's the best part about an RV. And I've seen people, uh, well, no, that's not pantry storage. That's ward storage. Or, you know, no, you can't put fishing lures over here in the drawers. And it's, you know what? Why not? It's my RV, right? Tell them, Kev, look, you can do whatever you want with your RV because the best part about it, it's your home. It's your stuff inside this coach. You get to see America the safest way possible. You want to take a look at the mountains. You want to pull up to the beach. You want to pull up and see other campers right beside you. You get to take this wherever you want to go. You don't have to worry about an airplane. Who's been sitting there before you? Who's sitting next to you? Or staying in a hotel? Who's been in that hotel before you? This is your home. Exactly. Tell, look. Look, I just got glasses because I've gone years without being able to see anything. And then finally, when I confused Kev with Ian, they were like, you might want to get some glasses. Over here on the off-camp side, you'll notice carpet free slide. I got my Allure 
recliners that also have massage and heat. Plus you got the back, the little LED lighting for the cup holders, I think that's pretty neat. The booth dinette with the hard back on the seats, storage underneath on both sides. And you'll notice the wall mounted Dream Dinette. There's a little latch right here that allows this to go down, comes out into a sleeper, so you could probably fit, if you got the kids, probably two kids right there. But for me with the fireplace, I sleep right there. That is my sleeping spot. But since this is the 32 BHS, it's a bunkhouse. You got your bathroom right here, where you got, look at that, high rise porcelain bowl with a foot flush, separate entry point. Sink is undermounted, so you don't have that dirty seal in there. Mirrored medicine cabinet and the shower and tub surround, which as you can see, since we're back here in the rear of the coach, you do not have to worry about the headroom in this beauty. Double mushroom lights there, third mushroom light, blade vent here, plus skylight inlay and vent and fan there, and brush nickel shower head and controls. I like how with the bunkhouse units you get a tub, because whether it's the kids or the dogs, you can bring them in here, wash them up, and not worry about tracking all that nasty stuff throughout the rest of the coach. Come back here into the private bunk room, which has its own separate door. This is where I think the engineers at Cougar really did a good job. We got the staggered bunk system here. You got the 300 pound capacity here, a little bit bigger than a twin, uh, but you got the twin size down here, storage under both, drawers down there as well. And you got the entertainment center here with more storage, Good spot for the TV. You could probably get a 32 there, maybe something a little bit bigger. More storage here. And 300 pound capacity on this bunk, but it raises up and locks into place. So if you just want to make this an entertainment center, get like a little hideaway table, you could sit right here, let the kids eat here, let the adults eat in there, or play the card games here, play the board games there. The great thing about this 32 BHS is the versatility of reconnecting with those loved ones and making those memories. That's what RVing is all about. People say all the time, how do you get so excited about RVs? Look at what you can do. You can take this wherever you want to go. If your kid is learning about all those, like the 9,600 miles of fishing streams in Colorado, or the fact that South Dakota has more shoreline than the state of Florida, and they want to see that, you can take them there and see it in the comfort of your own home. You're making memories that you might not think about right now, but later on down the road, it's going to impact you when the kids start talking about it, and then when they want to take their kids to do the same thing. Now, we walk up here into the master suite, and this for me is where the separation of space really comes into. That's why I like this 32 BHS. This is a family coach for sure. You got the queen size bed here, nestled in the slide, CPAP storage on both sides with doors underneath, dual USB, and the 110 outlets, which you'll notice have the little yellow sticker that says Solar Flex. That's because this 32 BHS, this one happens to come with the Solar Flex 400. Most come with the Solar Flex 200. You can upgrade that to like 600 and 1200. And once you get up there, you actually get a different battery. You get a lithium ion battery that'll actually run the air conditioner through the power of the sun. But the Solar Flex 2 and 400 is great because it allows you to run the lights. Uh, if you get enough juice, because it comes with a 2000 watt inverter, if you have the electric fridge instead of the gas electric fridge, it'll run that 12 volt fridge. It's just such a great option for going off the grid and boondocking. Frosty glass inlay on my storage doors there, ward storage on both sides. Plus, in its own slide is my mirrored wardrobe with the drawers that pull out giving you some good additional space. And last but not least, come on, Ken. You got a half bath right here in the master. Because, why not? High rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Countertop with the sink undermounted. Stainless steel faucet and controls there. Plus oversized mirrored medicine cabinet. Function, form, beauty, you get it all in the Keystone Cougar line of fifth wheels. And with this one being half ton towable, you're looking at roughly 9,500 pounds, 35 feet long, <clears throat> can easily sleep, let's do the math, two, well I'm going to count the seats, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. It'll sleep up to nine if you get a couple of cats like me that'll crash out right there in the recliners. But let's just call it seven to be even because people say you can't sleep in recliners. But once again, it's your RV. You do with it whatever you like. You want to sleep in recliners? You go sleep in the recliners. But this 32 BHF is BHS. If you if you're a family that's been looking for the perfect RV to go see America the safest way possible, this Cougar is yours. At Camping World, we're changing the way you buy RVs. And to help us get the word out, we brought back marketing consultant Todd James. Camping World now offers RV delivery, but it's not just that you deliver. The buzz is in how you deliver it. I'm talking eco-friendly. I'm talking nostalgia. I'm talking about single-handedly solving the crisis of middle school unemployment. Like newspapers? That's what I'm talking about. I'm just looking into child labor laws. I'm thinking about starting them at a nickel per RV. Or we can just offer professional delivery with the same high quality walkthrough we provide at our Camping World dealerships. Bingo. Professional delivery. These kids are pros. Camping World. Buy your RV online and we'll deliver it to your home or campsite. Keystone has such a variety of Cougars, I could go all day talking about fifth wheels, premier fifth wheels. But we gotta show some love to the travel trailers too because they are one of the top selling brands across the country. Currently standing inside the brand spanking new Keystone Cougar half ton travel trailer, 31 BHK WE. This is the Western edition. This is a 34 foot nine inch travel trailer that weighs 7,700 pounds dry, but can sleep up to 10 people. So I always say the half ton trailers easily towable by modern half ton trucks, but do me a favor, bring your vehicle in, let our folks take a look at it because it's free for us to tell you what you can tow. Plus, you know, hey, you get the chance to see and fit and feel all that good stuff. Better safe than sorry. And with this one, better in than out, I'd say, because take a look at this beautiful barrel ceiling that we have inside this Cougar Half Ton Travel Trailer. Those touches of quality when it comes to the construction extends even to the roof here, where we have the strips covering the panels, matching the color and the flow of this beautiful 31 BHK. And over here on the entryway, you'll notice we got our Generation 3 in-command touch panel. Now, what I love about this, sure, you can control slides you can control the hvac to cut on the you know the tank the tank heaters the whole nine check all your tanks but from your cell phone you download the app and you can do it from your cell phone as well let professor young explain that to you because if you're sitting out maybe you're in michigan or you know maybe you're in wisconsin and you're trying to figure out you know the lake situation uh, Minnesota got more, Wisconsin got more. They both got over 15,000. Michigan, just love Michigan because of the UP. Now, I want to cut the heat on and I'm not at my RV. I can do it from my cell phone. How cool is that? That's such a great feature. Whether you're inside the RV, outside the RV, you're lazy, you're just sitting over here, want to cut on the lights, whatever, you can do it from your cell phone. A lot of people don't know this too. I actually am an adjunct professor. That's right. I am an adjunct at the beautiful Stanford University. I teach wrong theory, but uh, you know, so you know that ain't true then, right, Kev? Yeah, that's right. Are you kidding me? I barely got out of school. You think they're going to let me back in? Over here on the off-camp side, because this is an opposing slide setup, here you'll see that beautiful rustic modern decor extends into the slides. Large panoramic windows with those solid wood balances and side curtains on the side, giving you good light, good cross flow of breeze. You got your booth dinette, which we have in the down position right here. You got the LED under lighting storage drawers on both sides. And over here, you got the plush, comfortable, hide-a-bed sofa, which means it pulls out. So this one will sleep two people. This one, I'm thinking, I laid it down because I wanted you to see. This is what it's like when it's down. Now, I'm 6'2", way heavier than I should be, 
But this is how I sleep anyway. I sleep curled up in this position. And I love to spoon my wife. So, you know, when we sleep, this is kind of how we sleep. So we could probably get two adults on here. Two kids, for sure. But let's just say, for sake of argument, one, two, we could sleep three in here. Now, in the summertime, you got a 15K BTU Coleman Mach AC. You got a 35,000 BTU furnace inside of this one with those thermoplastic duct joiners underneath, which really gives you a solid, almost indestructible HVAC system underneath. And what's great about it is you don't get those soft spots in the floor. Uh, plus, you got this hyperdeck flooring in here, which is easy to clean, some polypropylene laminated flooring, which means you got a good moisture barrier. Add that to the fact that we have radiant foil barriers, astro barriers, great foam core insulation on this five-sided aluminum superstructure. You, you could take this thing deep three season camping because it's temperature rated zero to a hundred degrees. Fantastic. But 5,000 BTUs of heat coming off of the decorative fireplace right there. That is what's going to heat this living space right here. Beautiful, multi-flame settings, has an electric blower, and add that to the fact that we have the SolarFlex 400 on this 31. That will allow us to not only power the lights, power some of the functions inside the RV, it'll allow us to go off-grid, and it's upgradable. It'll trickle charge the battery. You got the solar charger converter in there. And so if you upgrade to like the 600 or the 1200 where you get the lithium ion battery, you could run the ACs off of the solar power. That to me is true off the grid camping because when it came to doing boondocking or whatnot, you couldn't really do like a 12 volt fridge. You couldn't really do, you know, the ACs unless you had some true heavy duty solar power. So having that, fantastic. TV right above the fireplace, plus we got more storage compartments here. Speakers mounted inside the ceiling. Then over here on the campsite, I got myself some storage. Storage. Once again, solid wood construction on these shaker style cabinets. Brush nickel pulls with the hideaway hinges. You got the eight cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo right here that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. You got the pressed surface countertop right here on the island kitchen. This is why I like opposing slides in the living area because it really opens up the space. Every Keystone Cougar comes with a drying rack and a cutting board cover for your sink, which most are 50-50 stainless steel undermounted with the high-rise faucet. The only thing missing here is the sprayer. I would like to see that added in to the Cougar Travel Trailers. Over here behind me on the campsite is where I have a little bit more prep area or a coffee station because I got a 110 outlet here door right there, flush mounted Greystone microwave, flush mounted Furion three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the grill style grate. Glass cover doubles as a backsplash and we got the 16 inch Furion oven there. Or is that 21? It might be 21. It's big, big enough to cook a turkey in there if you want it, some shrinky dinks. If you've never done shrinky dinks, you got to do the shrinky dinks. That's what's great about going camping. Okay, now this 31 BHK has a unique profile to it. This is a complete separate space. This, this bathroom in here, to me, because of the way the entertainment center is angled, you appear like you even get more space than you really should, because take a look. So I'm, I'm good right here on the toilet, the high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, but look at the space I have here. You got a good hanger right there for towels, Countertop space here, the undermounted sink, so I don't have that seal on top. Plus, I got the oversized medicine cabinet with the storage lip. And inside my neo angled shower, I got my skylight, the glass enclosure. And the thing I like about the, these neo angled showers is because they're, they're, they're fit for RVs, they're great, but it gives you the perception of having more space. Now, sure. I'm going to be over the top lip of this thing. So if I'm spraying my, you know, washing my hair or whatever with the brush nickel sprayer, I don't want to go this way with it. So there are some things you got to think about, but great fit and really maximizing the space inside this Keystone Cougar. Coming to the master, got a solid door leading us in here with a queen bed nestled up front. You got storage shelves on both sides. And you'll notice we got inverted outlets on both sides as well, plus cubby storage. So if you're out on, you know, boondocking, if you got a CPAP machine, you could run it from the solar panels. Got my vent right here. 
and my own separate access point leading me into the master. I like that because since this is a bunkhouse unit, I'm, gonna, I'm saving the bunk room for last. You want to be able to come and go as you please, have the kids come and go as they please. It's just such a good feature because the kids can stay outside, they can play. You can go if you're at the mountains, maybe you want to go hike or you're at the beach, the lake, whatever, your shoreline, you're fishing. You know you're going to get up early and go catch all the good stuff. You don't have to wake them up. It's just such a great feature and something you won't find in hotel rooms. You can't get this type of luxury space and comfort inside a hotel room. Plus, why would you want to? Somebody else has been in there. This is your RV. Now, unique to the 31BHK is this private bunk room. Now, you got the 300 pound capacity bunk up here. You'll see we got the suspension net for storage, dual USB 110, which is an inverted outlet, mushroom light, window with the privacy nightshade. I love that. Another double bunk here, those Teddy Bear Series bunk style mattresses, plush, thick, and comfortable. I got myself some storage space right here underneath which goes all the way. I got drawers, I got a ward with a mirror here, plus storage shelf, TV shelf, with my key TV multi-source connection and inverted outlet right there. So even if we're out boondocking, the kids could watch TV, well, antenna, through the power of those solar panels and that solar flex on the roof. Great construction, great layout, space style beauty, and all under 7,500 pounds. So we've seen the inside of this all new Keystone Cougar 31 BHK. What do you say we go take a peek at the outside? I mean, at the end of the day, there's no wonder why RVs become so popular once people see how much you can do with them, both inside and out. Now, right back here on the rear of this beauty, you'll notice where you're set up for backup camera, you got the spare tire mount there, plus you got the solid ladder, your key TV multi-source connection there, you got your 4x4 sewer hose storage and hitch, and I love the Capital Grill. Now, my favorite is always going to be the griddle because it does open up breakfast, more options for lunch, you can do the eggs, but the Capital Grill is great because you don't have the two burners, you got this full cook space right here slides away hooks up to your LP you got the fridge right there USB charging all with anti-slam door latches boom external shower with hot and cold right here key TV connection and 110 power if you want to set up some entertainment outside you can solid steps leading me into the master right here true fit slides too which are insulated all the way around and what the true fit does is it's true to its name it fits the space that it's made for minimizing the components moving it in and out like my dad always tells me you minimize the stuff that has to work you minimize the stuff that, that will break on you. Ground control 3.0, four point leveling system on this one. Double axle right here with those aluminum rims. And you'll see that extra wide berth in there giving us good stability going down the road. Heated and enclosed underbelly with 12 volt pads on the tanks too. Great for when you're traveling in cold climate or you're just set up outside in a little bit colder climate. Black tank flush right here adjustable pitch awning going over the slide with the marine grade speakers and LED lights steel fold up steps leading me into the master here finished off storage that is passed through right there you'll see my solar charge converter down there that little blue box you'll see my sine wave inverter right there inverter prep what's great about that solar charge converter is that lets you know where you're at in the charge state. So, you know, are we charging the battery? Are we floating? Are we in the, you know, whatever. It gives you a great indication of where you're at. And another thing I always tell people, since you're already set up for it, go ahead and get the additional solar panels. It's just additional power, which is always a good thing. You got your setup for uh, the side vision as well, which if you can get it, go ahead and get it because it's a great security feature. It allows you to see when you're turning what's on the right or what's on the left. Beautiful painted fiberglass here with the running lights. You got the giggy box down here for your battery disconnect, twin 30 pound LP tanks and power tongue jack. Look at the end of the day. Keystone has such a great variety of fifth wheels, travel trailers for the family, for the camp couple. You cannot go wrong because they've been one of the best selling brands for the last two decades. Why? Only one way to find out. Come check one out for yourself. But if you've been looking for something roughly 7,700 pounds dry, 35 feet long, can sleep 10 people, 31 BHK WE Western Edition is right for you.